Hi, my name is Arabelle Sheffield and I am 15 years old. Before I came here, I spent most of my time on the internet. Reading the news, going on Facebook, etc. It was impossible to not come across commercials and ads for beauty products, clothes, stuff like that. And in most of them, there were beautiful women. Women more beautiful than me. At school, I felt even worse. I was surrounded by people who looked like the people in the magazines. They were all tall, thin, gorgeous, the things that I thought I wasn't. I tried to go unnoticed, under the radar. I started losing friends, and as a result, I became more isolated. My marks dropped. I started eating less, almost nothing. But I wasn't becoming prettier. I was looking worse and worse with each passing day. It became too much for me, and apparently my friends too. Bella, Arabella, wait! What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Why would you think that? Because something was wrong. Very wrong. But my friends were persistent, trying over and over in the hallways, after school, before class, to talk to me. I ignored them, not wanting to talk to them, even if they were the only friends I had left. Only people who cared. Once a fun-loving, natural girl, I was becoming a monster. I was turning into the kind of people I swore to never become. I wore layers upon layers of makeup, buying it until I was almost broke. But my friends had had enough, so they made a plan. I know you're there, you know. I know you're better than that. I know you're better than them. Remember that time you bought that book? without reading the back. And it had the most beautiful cover, but you came to me three days later saying it was the most awful book you've ever read. Well, it was. Then why'd you buy it? It, it looked nice, I guess. But how did you know what it was about if you didn't read the back? You judged a book by its cover. So? It's not like I'm the only one, right? No, I suppose not. Do you judge people by their looks? What do you mean? If you see a girl who's pretty, do you automatically think she has a pretty personality? I, I guess not. But I never had any of those anyway. I mean, it showed. You do realize you're the only one who thinks that. But, but didn't everyone think that? Bella, your face has nothing to do with your value. And if by everyone you mean you, then you're right. But I'm ugly. Compared to who? The girls on the internet. They're gorgeous. I mean, you've seen them. No one thinks I'm that pretty. We do. Oh yeah, and who's we? The people who care about you. The people who would do anything if it meant you would stop doing this to yourself. You know who he is. You just won't accept that people think you're not ugly. Clearly you don't want me here. So I'll stop pestering you, or whatever you call it. I was drained, physically and emotionally. I had just lost my only friends. I was completely broke, and I had eaten close to nothing in the past week. I was broken, and I didn't think I could be fixed. Well, I got better, but it wasn't easy. I started spending more time with my friends, maybe even if I wasn't interacting. This made me stronger. I started eating more and wearing less makeup and just generally leading a healthier lifestyle. And those girls on the internet, I finally realized that their beauty wasn't real and that they weren't the people I wanted to be. Thank you, Arabella, for sharing your story. Your self-esteem is vulnerable, but there are people around you who care. 